Okay, we're back with Fred Myers, the president and founder of the Queensboro Shirt Company. And um, some of you might have read on our website a little bit about how we got started, but I think the story is really funny and I thought it would be great to hear it in Fred's own words. So take it away, Fred, in your own words. How did you start the Queensboro Shirt Company? Well, uh, I started college um, in 1977. And um, this was when the uh, Lacoste shirts were really starting to uh, become very, very popular. And Ralph Lauren just introduced his version of that knit polo with the horse polo player on it. And um, I had kind of grown up wearing Lacoste shirts. And um, my job uh, at home, my parents, both of my parents worked. My job was uh, in the laundry. I did all the laundry for the family. And so I grew up uh, washing these Lacoste shirts and um, uh, just loved them because they were so comfortable and they washed so great and they always felt great and they always looked great and the cut was just perfect. But uh, as this uh, phenomenon occurred, as these shirts started to become very popular, um, the alligator took on a life of its own and it got to the point where if you were wearing a Lacoste shirt, you were making a statement about some kind of social aspiration that you had or um, some other kind of uh, pretty obnoxious <laughs> thing. So um, uh, I felt like I could not wear these shirts anymore because people were making judgments about, about what I was doing based on the clothes that I was wearing. But I love these shirts and uh, I needed an alternative. So it occurred to me that um, the best thing that could happen would be that uh, you could get a shirt with any logo or design you wanted on it, uh, and rather than walking around as a uh, billboard for Lacoste or Ralph Lauren or somebody else, you would basically be uh, a billboard for yourself, promote your own brand. So I was able to, um, back in the day, in the late 70s, early 80s, um, we made a lot of shirts in this country, we made a lot the United States among its other uh, great innovations was the um, was the basically the the founder of the knit shirt industry. I started in France originally with Lacoste shirt, but they never did it in any kind of quantities over there. It really exploded here, and um, kind of like the automobile was invented in Germany, but it was really in the United States that the automobile um, became popularized. So uh, I was able to find some. Uh, Flyers and uh, found a, I was in school in New York at the time. Found an embroiderer up in New Jersey. New Jersey used to be the um, the capital of embroidery in this country, um, just like the South was the capital of uh, miniature and textile production at that time, late 70s. And uh, while I was in college, I was able to kind of um, get a couple of orders from uh, some different people and doing some different things and. Um, that was kind of how it all started. So, yeah. Super. Right there. Yeah, we'll okay. we'll come back and we'll um, we'll tell the next chapter of the story next time. One chapter at a time. One chapter. Okay, everybody. I know you're going to be on the edge of your seats waiting for the next chapter. Better than 24. <laughs>